some people like to emphasize uh, what agony it is to do philosophy, the torture of, of thinking deeply or, or something like uh, uh, that. And it's, it's true that, that thinking hard can be quite a, a painful, tough process. But something that I'd like to mention, which I, I don't think is um, mentioned enough, is that uh, there's also a great deal of pleasure to be derived from, from philosophy. Uh, I mean, certainly, uh, I mean, I've I've been doing it for the last uh, forty years without, or in fact, more than forty years, unfortunately, but uh, w without getting uh, bored with it. And um, I mean, there are various kinds of pleasure that one can can get from doing uh, philosophy. I mean, one is just the the pleasure of achieving some kind of clarity, which is. Not unlike the pleasure that I, I get when I put on my glasses and everything goes from being blurred to, to being seen much more clearly. And you can have the, the same kind of experience of just seeing things more clearly uh, in the, uh, uh, the intellectual uh, realm as well, as well as through literally uh, looking about you. I think it's also uh, enjoyable in, in that it, enables one to, uh, to encounter a lot of uh, ideas that are very uh, unfamiliar and, and unexpected, and to see the world from, from very different perspectives from the one that one's uh, used to. I mean, for example, I mean, a, a philosophical issue that I think many, many people uh, think about a bit, Does, of many teenagers, for example, uh, think about the issue of uh, free will and determinism and are, uh, they, they worry about whether we might just be um, completely determined by the laws of uh, physics and, and how we were originally made and, and then they can, from that they conclude that there's, there's no uh, uh, free will and, and many, many neuroscientists and others make the, the same assumption. So uh, one, one idea that you come across in philosophy, which in fact has uh, quite a lot to be said for it, is that it might be that free will and uh, determinism are actually compatible, that you can have both. And th that's the kind of idea that you come across in philosophy which is very, very different from what you're expecting. Um, but w once you think about it, you realize that there's something uh, to it. And another kind of pleasure that philosophy involves is just the, the pleasure of playing with ideas, of taking them to bits and putting them back together again and trying out different combinations and variations and um, and seeing how they, they work. So uh, al although that's a, a form of playing, it's also uh, totally serious and and many of the the probably all the best philosophers are the ones who also are the most playful with ideas because that's how you understand how ideas work by playing with them just as that's how you understand how all sorts of other things work by by play